Whoa! It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm finishing up my new piece here and, and I'm doing my, my standard little I like to incorporate a Spaceship Earth on a, on my drawings because I'm usually uh, drawing another planet where I'm looking up at Spaceship Earth like you would look at the sun. But anyway, I was sitting here and I was I was making my little Spaceship Earth on this drawing and I was thinking about how always when I make a, an, a representation of Spaceship Earth, it's very like North America, South America centric. And Africa is always over here in the corner and there's a little bit of Europe. Dude, nowhere in there is Asia, Asia, Australia, India, the Middle East, any of it, right? Like my whole... My whole experience with Spaceship Earth is very, very angled towards the North American continent. Like, I could draw the North American continent in my sleep, like, blind. That should be, an, that would be an interesting video to make. I could draw it blind, no doubt about it, blindfolded, the whole deal, right? Because I spent my whole life, like, every map I've ever grown up with is North America-centric, and... You know, I'm a big Buckminster Fuller guy, like like Operator's Manual to Spaceship Earth was like one of the novels that changed my life. It's not even a novel, it's just an Operator's Manual, anyhow. But it changed my lot, my my whole perception of, the, of everything. And part of Buckminster's Fuller, Fuller's, one of the things he invented was the geodesic map of Spaceship Earth, where... The whole Earth's broken down in geodesic like qu quadrants or coordinates. Quadrants would be bad because that's like force, but it's broken down into these quadrants because, you know, Buckminster Fuller's father of the geodesic dome. And so he makes a map that's the whole Earth. And his whole point of making the map was so that we could view the Earth proportionally as a whole as instead of like how most kids grow up and how I grew up was was with the map laid out linearly and, and flat and one dimensionally with America in the middle and Antarctica like giant, right? And and Africa looking kind of small because I I've seen if you've ever seen that picture where they have the picture of Africa and they put all like they put America, South America and all these continents and stuff in Africa so you can get a, a sense of how absolutely big Africa is and so I'm sitting here making my little like representation of the earth and I was just tripping out about how essentially like India and Asia don't exist in my representation of earth and when I was thinking about that I was thinking about the video I had made the other day about the afterlife and how like my connection to Soros is Jesus and all this kind of stuff. And people got a little weirded out about it as they always do, which it's not my problem. That's their problem. But it really dawns on me of how like my conduit way to it is like it's that direction. I grew up essentially on the West Coast of the United States of America. And that's the information I've been given. So for me to go and learn like... I don't know if I'm breaking this down, right? For me to go insert other, like, for me to get all crazy, for example, about the Buddha, right? Like, I'm hip with the Buddha, I'm down with the Buddha, man. But the Buddha isn't, like, my cultural reference point. It would be, the Buddha's the equivalent of me going to school every day in North America and the center of the map being India. Now, I bet if you go to school over in India, I don't know, though, I bet their map of the, the of the world has India in the center and the U.S. is over on the peripheral, right? It would make sense, but who knows? Maybe they buy their maps from China too, man. I don't know. Because I think we get most of our, everything from China now. But back in the day, we probably used to get U.S.-made maps and, that, and they went around the world. And so the USA was the center of the deal. And as I think we move further into the future, the maps... And the representations of our globe begin to illustrate where our perception is, just like spirituality 
has changed. Like people are moving away from religion and they're moving into spirituality, right? Basically, spirituality is like the Buckminster Fuller map of Spaceship Earth, but religion, like I guess that's a, my, a metaphor I'm trying to make there, is how maps and religions basically coincide. Like if your map's centered on a Christian-based continent, that would be how your natural path away to source energy would be. And if your map was based upon, was based upon, I don't know, Muhammad and, and what is that religion called? The Muslim, Islam. Then, then you because your map would be different. You'd be looking at Indonesia because you know that is the largest Muslim population on the planet is Indonesia and so I you know I just begin to think about that and that's why you know being in a creative space right like this stuff takes forever and I'm just sitting here like duck duck with my pen doodling and or coloring the globe in right now and and I'm making a uh, aquamarine ocean and I just got into the zone of thinking about like spaceship earth and and what it means, why I'm representing it the way I am, because that is truly like the, what I think the coolest thing about artistic expression is, is yeah, we're trying to express inner thoughts, but also our art expresses our inner machine works that we don't even know. Like when I get done with one of these things and look at it, I'm like, huh, like that's some stuff I just learned about myself. So I don't know, man. I think people got a little bit trippy. About, some people got really trippy about the afterlife video. And look, man, I, I, I'll delve into some pretty heavy-duty subject matter. But at heart, man, I'm a really like simple, fun-loving guy, man. And, and the minute we do anything that excludes another human being from the whole... We're violating the whole, like we're missing the point of all spiritual teachings and spiritual leaders. And that's why I'm not down with the concept of religion on any religion, because religion's all about separating. And, you know, I, I you know, to quote you two, man, which is crazy because I'm not really down, that down with you too, is my God is not short of cash. My God is not exclusionary to anyone. My God doesn't just live in North America, man. My God lives everywhere, bro. Anyway, I don't know. Those are that's just what I was thinking about, coloring in the globe. I don't know, man. Deep thoughts by the illusion. I'm out.